some oil to this. Grease-based diet. I just guesstimate this. What an unattractive distraction. It's so greasy. All of them were like that. I went to Aldi and all of the <laughs> coconut oils were like greasy outside. Don't know what is going on with that. I'm an eyeballer for things like this, but for nuts and seeds and stuff, I'll measure it. Ugh. Every stove slants one way or another. Why can't they manufacture a stove that doesn't do that? I just put the oil over here and let it sail its way across the United States of this pan. Gosh, that is not a lot of food. Some kale. I stole these from work. I'll give them back. Five grams of carbs. I can't get over that. Per 2.5 cups. I refuse to believe that. I just refuse to believe that. Oops. You saw how I just pulled that off the back. I do leave, <laughs> I just leave food in the pan. Crucify me. My fave. And a huge crutch. So it does have four grams of protein. No carbs, allegedly. Here's something I will weigh. I get the unsweetened kind. The sweetened kind is so weird. But it's got decent macros. And 32 ounces is, or 32 grams as this serving is more than you think it is. And how you want to measure things is put your thing on top before you turn that scale on, then you turn it on, or if it's on, put the thing on and then click the tear button or the zero out button, and that'll make it back to zero, so you can measure accurately. Mm -hmm. This is like lunch dessert for me. I keep forgetting to make green tea. It's like a habit that I'm trying to develop. And I just put roughly half of 32 ounces, so 16, 32 grams, oh my gosh. Okay, that's exactly 32, and I'm rigid about not over-serving myself on things like nuts and seeds because of the omegas. I do eat a lot of nuts and seeds, though. My scale is so nasty. And this nut, the sun nut butter, is only a gram of net carbs. So it's like way too easy of an indulgence for me. But I won't treat it like it's bad. It does have more omega-6s that I like to see. Fine, right? Pop it on. You gotta keep
keep your good habits for you. I use Bigelow and they, I read, did some research on them, are the most, I won't say most, they're the least environmentally bad because they don't do anything. They don't bleach their tea bags. They use this paper. They do make these out of blended materials, which I think can't be recycled. I think that's pretty much one of the only things they're doing that is wrong or that we see as wrong for the environment that other companies are doing. I just put it. Paper, you can eat paper. Paper's edible, right? Pepper and salt. I talked about this pepper in my Aldi haul. It is a, a beast to grind. Seriously. Who designed this? I'm gonna have a some red curry. Who are we kidding with these? Some turmeric, which is good for you, especially if you put black pepper in it. And some good old Aldi garlic powder. That cut the child's play and just open the container up. And some good old MSG. I'm so scared to get this shirt dirty with spicy oil. I'm scared. Something worth mentioning, I eat twice a day. And I intermittent fast from noon, or from 8 p.m. to noon. So 16, 8 fast. And I, I'm thinking about going down to one meal a day, but I just don't know. Because, like, I feel like garbage when I eat, after I eat lunch. Like, could sleep for a thousand years. Trash. Thank you.